A newborn baby test positive for cocaine and marijuana, and tonight police are trying to find the baby's mother who just took off. News Channel 36 reporter Tony Burbeck live in Rock Hill. And Dave, it is not a crime to leave a newborn at a hospital like this one because hospitals are considered safe havens. However, it is a crime to give birth to a newborn who tests positive for drugs. That's why Rock Hill police are looking for this woman. Caught on Piedmont Medical Center security video coming into the hospital Tuesday, November 10th at 10.30 at night. A friend gets her a wheelchair. The woman gives hospital workers a fake name, then delivers a baby girl. The child um, tests positive for marijuana and cocaine. That, Lieutenant Jason Dalton says, constitutes child endangerment, something the mother can be arrested for. But she bolted. The security camera video from 6.30 the next morning. The woman walks out, covering her head and body with a blanket. The baby purposely left at the hospital. How she acted, um, this was premeditated from the very beginning. She didn't want her identity known. Initial leads into her identity didn't pan out. Now police hope someone recognizes her and calls them. And it's possible she could have other children of an older age that she puts at risk through her drug use. Um, so there, you know, there's no telling what else she could be involved in. DSS has custody of the woman's baby, but aren't talking about her. Babies born with drugs in their system are known to have numerous health problems. Please say the woman in the videotape never even called back to check on her own daughter's health. And police believe that that woman and her friend, and they don't know who that person is either, are possibly driving a white late model Ford Tempo that has the back tail light busted out. Again, they say if you know who that woman is or possibly who that car belongs to, to call Rock Hill Police. We're not live now with Mobile Newsroom in Rock Hill. Tony Burbeck, News Channel 36.